I have been doing my sweet potato starts in um, jars like this and letting them grow and then I pull off um, pull off the stem and then get it in water or I um, or I put it directly in soil and let it grow so um, one thing that I think is kind of annoying is having this uh, sit up here and my in, in a south window um, and it doesn't harden off as well when going outside and a neighbor of mine told me about uh, Sand Hill Conservation Center actually and he they what they do is they put their sweet potatoes directly in a trench outside in their garden and they will start the sweet potatoes late April, put them in the in a trench, like eight inches deep, and then cover it with, I don't know if they cover it with like a plastic or, or what, um, to keep the heat in, but um, they let the sweet potatoes grow, and then they pull off the slips as they're coming out. So as they're coming out, this would actually grow roots all along the end, even though it would be connected to that sweet potato, that big sweet potato. And that big sweet potato that would be the start of it would um, rot and uh, die in the ground and just start um, uh, decomposing. But this new stem with all these little things would start making a new sweet potato plant with lots of, um, lots of nice big sweet potatoes to enjoy. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go along that idea because I like the fact that it would be outside, and um, but I'm going to manipulate a little bit. I'm going to use a pot on my deck to start some outside. So, I'm going to take their concept and use it a little differently. Here is the pot that I'm going to use. Um, to start the sweet potatoes. I've got my mom's roses um, and then I've got all of these starts that I'm gonna plant out soon. Uh, these are uh, bok choy, mustard greens, this is black magic um, uh, kale, uh, I believe this is bok choy also and then I've got my peppers, hmm, the leaves are a little sad right now, tomatoes, um, marigolds, and then I have some of the sweet potatoes over here. This is um, borage. And I started some asparagus and some lavender. This is calendula. And I also started some, this I haven't, hasn't come up yet because I just started it, but I started um, petunias. So petunias, I, I think I'm gonna plant near the asparagus because they're a companion plant for the asparagus. kale. Purple kale. So I'm just gonna actually pull these out. And I know sweet potatoes, they're not too finicky. I'm gonna pull these off. See? That one has a new start, a root. It's perfect. Wonderful. Okay. Ah, this one's kind of stuck. Come on, stinker. All right, I might have to let go of the camera for a minute. Okay, I have these ones too that I have not started yet. So I'm just gonna let them start. And it doesn't matter how thick I have these guys because um, I know sweet potatoes, they just will shoot up anyhow. And we're not trying to grow sweet potatoes in this container. Again, we're just trying to get the, um, uh, the sprouts to then make more sweet potatoes. Okay, I'm sure soil would work um, fine too, but I'm just going to use this sorghum peat moss that I didn't really want to use because I was like, uh, I think it's enriched with something and chemical and blah, 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 and I want to be less chemical um, driven in my place, but um, I'm just going to let that happen. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna let it let it do its thing. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'll probably take it inside if it gets uh, pretty cold, but um, 
Otherwise, I'll leave it out here. I'm gonna fill this up with what, some water. I'm sorry, Kalina. Sorry, did I poke your nose? Did I poke your nose? And then Lily. Hi, Lily. I think Lily's actually pregnant. Are you pregnant? I can kind of feel little babies inside of her, which is so fun. So with the slips, you can actually just plant them right out in the garden. Um, I got it wet with warm water and because there's no holes in this, I uh, won't let it get rained on or anything. Although I might try to catch some rainwater because it's the best, it's the best to water with. Hey, are those ducks doing okay, Kalina? Have you guarded those ducks well? Yeah. Here are my eggs that I got today from the ducks. I got them all out on pasture. Lily's not the only one that is pregnant. We have, a few, we have a few bunnies that are pregnant and we have these little guys. Oh, they aren't even 10 days old yet. They are so cute. This one's beautiful. Well, I think they're all pretty. I really like the Harlequin colors though. So cute. So I think we have a few bunnies that are actually pregnant and going to be giving birth at some point here. Um, but I, as you saw in the picture, there's some scratch on my, on my arm. And um, one thing about bunnies is that they make really great pets, especially Holland Lops because of their personality, but they cannot retract their claws like a cat can. So their claws are always out. So if they're already anxious as a predator, as a sorry as a prey animal they already have a little more anxiousness inside of them um, uh, that hasn't been bred out of them per se so um, when you're holding them they can get kind of scared and they can try to scratch themselves out of your hand so um, just anticipating that knowing them and you know i should have um, held the bunny in a better position and i would have avoided those scratches Also, our goats, some of our goats are pregnant, and our smallest ones, I don't think that they're going to give birth for quite a while, which would be better for them anyway, but, um, so, we shall see 